past his ring of stars, a four-year-old chestnut mare, Let's Elope, snared the spotlight. She began her run of victories in the Turnbull Stakes and started her run to glory in the Caulfield Cup. Royal Creation over on the inside, followed by Prince Saleri. It's Ivory Way being tackled by Royal Creation. Royal Creation hit the front of the Caulfield Cup. Ivory Way fighting back. Let's elope. Let's elope. Well, I've seen the filly work and I saw a race and uh, I just think she's a pretty good staying filly. And uh, with the weight, I don't think she's extraordinarily good. No champion, but at the weight. Uh, she was fit enough and I thought she could win. Can she give you a ninth Melbourne Cup? It's possible. I hope so. On reflection, Let's Elope would have taken some stopping in the Cox Plate. She was at home resting when Surface Paradise, sat back by Lance O'Sullivan, produced a devastating sprint finish. Surface Paradise is swapping them. The New Zealander, Surface Paradise, roaring clear. Surface Paradise has won. The VRC derby has been a little disappointing in recent years. It wasn't this year. A trio of very good three-year-olds filled the placings. Star of the Realm underlined his potential, overcoming a complicated preparation to score an exciting victory. Star of the Realm, the leader. Natural is on the inside, finishing very fast. But Star of the Realm has won it. Stephen King was on a roll. He'd ridden the Caulfield Cup Derby double and was on the favourite in the great race. Let's Elope didn't let him or Bart Cummings down. In one of the most controversial Melbourne Cups in history, King was suspended. A protest, only the fourth in over 130 years was lodged, but Let's Elope triumph, being the first mayor since Rivette in 1939 to take the Caulfield Melbourne Cups in the one year. But the favourite has raced away in the Melbourne Cup, it's Let's Elope. This great mare has raced away from Ivory Way, superimposed, and then Magnolia Hall, and Sheba's revenge, but Let's Elope has won the Melbourne Cup. One of the best fields we've had for many years, and... Uh... To win this, it uh, shows that she's uh, a lot of quality and uh, she's a very classic, very classic filly. Bart had improved on his own record, nine Melbourne Cups, and was on his way to Japan with Shaftesbury Avenue. Rough Habit was running for New Zealand. Both horses ran bravely. Shaftesbury Avenue particularly looked unlucky, as the American stayer Golden Pheasant came home to win one of the world's great races, the Japan Cup. Yes, some of the great highlights throughout the year. Max uh, Presnell in Sydney, who do you think we can look forward to in 1992? Is there a super horse around the corner? Oh, yes. So I have no doubt that the super horse around the corner is Let's Elope. She's remarkable. Um, the only reason I didn't make Bart Cummings my, my feature of 1991 was that Super Elope was obviously in those cup races so well handicapped. Uh, the handicapper will certainly treat her far more harshly uh, next year, but nevertheless, I think she's up to it. OK, Keith, you, your feeling about 92, do you think there's a young horse on the way up? I think that we're going to see a lot more of the Derby Cornella star of the realm and naturalism, Bruce. They're both very exciting uh, horses to me. They're the two young ones on the way up, but I do agree with Max that uh, the best from uh, uh, Let's Elope is still to come. Colin Hayes has been in the news and we had a story on him earlier. Now, I know that you've just rung Betty in Hong Kong before you came on air. What's the latest there? Yeah, she's at the hospital. Colin Hayes uh, is making rapid progress. He's still in intensive care, but he uh, will probably be shifted out of intensive care in the next few hours and may only stay in hospital a couple of days. And in fact, Betty Hayes was quite surprised that we knew that Colin Hayes had had a heart attack. But of course, uh, with his prominence, it's been on the front pages and in all news broadcasts, hasn't it? It sure has. Well, that, that's good news. Max, enjoy your, your, your uh, Christmas. Uh, we've enjoyed working with you this year, and we'll catch up with you in the early autumn with these big races, including the Golden Slipper. Oh, that'll be my pleasure. Good on you, Max Presnell. And Keith, uh, it's been terrific, mate. And uh, have a merry, merry Christmas. OK, Bruce, Hope thanks a lot. Hope you back a few winners in the next few weeks, and we'll see you in the new year. I look forward to that. Thank you. Keith Hillier and uh, Max Presnell. We take a break. Athletics after this, particularly the World Championships in 91.